roll-up. Now the first thing you should know about the roll-up clause is that it's a subclause of group by. Next, be aware that the roll-up clause assumes there is a hierarchy among the columns. So maybe column one is year, column two is month, column three is day, for example. And lastly, its main use case is to generate subtotals for reporting. All right, now let's see how this works in practice. All right, now in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create multiple levels of subtotals using the roll-up clause. All right, now let's take a look at the table we're gonna be using. All right, so this is a simple table. We have the transaction year, month, and finally the date and the quantity. Now, normally if we wanted to total up the quantity by year, let's say, you would add a group by, and you'd add the transaction year, right? And everyone knows this is pretty straightforward, right? And then you'd sum the quantity. Okay? Great, right? So now we have the total quantity by year. But what if we wanted to create multiple subtotals, right, in one query, right? What if we wanted to total up things by year, month, and date in the result set? Now, normally, various levels of subtotaling is something you do in a reporting tool, but what if you had to do it in SQL? Now, if your first thought is to create temporary tables to start manipulating the data and calculate the various levels, you might want to think again. Let me show you what I mean. Now for this first example, let's keep it simple. Let's just to suppose we want to add a subtotal for each level. So we want to add a subtotal for month, year, and then a grand total, okay? So, I'm gonna show, so let's use roll up to do that, all right? So let me add each of my columns here to make things clear, all right? So we'll say, suppose we want year, month, okay? Date, because we want to show all the columns, okay? Now let's add our aggregate function, so we'll sum the quantity. All right. Now remember, it's a subclause of group by. All right. So we need our group by, and then we're going to add roll up. Okay. Now, because we want to subtotal all the columns, we're going to add all the columns in our roll up parentheses here. Okay. So we will add all of these columns, and I want to show you what this does. All right. So let's run this. All right, now I want to scroll to the bottom because it's easier to see. All right, so here we go. So let's look at these subtotals, okay? We have subtotals for month, right? Because you can see under transaction date, there's a null, right? So this is rolling up all the entire quantity for the month of July in 2014, all right? Now we come down a little further in the month of August, we have another total. Now, for the total year of 2014, we can come down to this row here and you can see here's the total quantity for the entire year. And then in the last row, where everything is null except the quantity, that's your grand total, okay? Now I wanna point something out. You'll notice we had added transaction date in our rollup, okay? That equates to this total here on this row. But I want to be, make this clear. No, you're used to, if you're used to using group by, you're used to putting the column that you want to aggregate it to or the level you want to aggregate it to, right? So if you wanted to aggregate something to month, let's say, you're used to putting month in the group by and then summing the quantity. Rollup is different. Rollup looks at things in terms of levels, okay? So in other words, when we add transaction date to roll up, we're telling SQL, we want to roll up the quantity, okay? We want to roll it up to under the transaction date column, okay? Which, which really equates to month, right? And by telling it we want to roll up to month, that equates to year, okay? Because it's under the month level, right? In the month, in, it's in line with month. That's where you have your null and, and where it's going to aggregate everything to. Okay, or some things do, all right? And then year, that's the first level. Remember, it looks at things in terms of a hierarchy, okay? So the first level in our query is year, or in our results, or our data, is year. 
So that, if we roll things up under year, it's going to be our grand total, right? Because that's our lowest level, okay? Or our highest level, I should say, right? So this, that's how this, this is very different than a group buy. And I, want, and I want to point that out because it, it can be a little confusing because if you're, if you're putting a month in a roll-up, you might think, well, isn't that going to roll it up to month? No. It's going to roll up the quantity at the month level, which is actually year. Okay? So you, you got to look at it a little differently. Okay? And it can do it at all levels as you see here. All right? Now, let's look at another example. All right, now let's suppose we don't want all these subtotals, right? Let's say we just want a subtotal um, month and year, right? We don't need a grand total, all right? So what we need to do in that case is we need to move transaction year, right? We, let's say we, we still want to display year. We still have it in our select, so we got to do something with it, right? So we'll move transaction year up into our group by, all right? Now, if you have anything in the group by with a roll up, you, you need this comma here. Just want to point that out, okay? All right. Now we'll run this, and then as you can see, we don't we no longer have our grand total, and we just have a roll up um, to year and month. Okay, so what this query is saying is, we're still going to group by transaction year, okay, but we don't want to roll up under that level. Okay, we just want to roll up or a subtotal um, at the month under month and date columns, which equate to obviously year and month, right? And that is group by with roll up. Thanks so much for watching, but please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell.